Next to a landmark ruling on what's been called the biggest tax heist ever. Germany's top criminal court has outlawed the controversial trading practice known as COMEX. The uh, scheme involved traders claiming rebates on taxes that had never been paid, costing taxpayers billions of euros. Germany's federal court of justice has made it clear. Those who get refunds for taxes they never paid are liable to prosecution. Like many other financial jugglers, two British bankers made a lot of money with these COMEX activities. They say they were simply exploiting a tax loophole, which was not necessarily illegal. Now they've lost their case and been sentenced to probation. One of them has been ordered to pay back the 14 million euros profit he made. The COMEX scam ran for many years. Here's how it worked. On the day the dividends were paid on shares, investors sold the shares onto each other during the course of the day. Only one of the parties paid capital gains tax on the dividend and was thus eligible for a rebate. Those who paid no tax before selling them on applied for refunds nonetheless. The authorities had no way of tracking the transactions and paid out to anyone who claimed and could prove ownership on that day. The schemes that were being run had neither to do with legal structures nor with simply exploiting a legal loophole as the legal situation was unambiguous. There was no loophole here. On the contrary, it was a bold grab into the till into which all taxpayers normally pay, which, by the way, is no different from ordinary sales tax fraud. Analysts expect many more COMEX prosecutions to follow across the entire financial sector, a whole range of renowned banks and investors were involved in the tax theft, which left the authorities simply overwhelmed for many years. All right, let's get some analysis now with my colleague Stephen Beersley from DW Business. So good to have you here Hello. with us on this story. How did this go on for so long with nobody noticing? Probably one of the biggest reasons is that because there isn't a traditional victim in the sense that there's no individual or group of individuals who are really hard hit and go crying to the police. In this case, the victim was the state itself, the state treasury. As you can imagine, that's big, monolithic. It doesn't really know sometimes what's coming in, what's coming out. So it's hard to imagine a situation which it raises an alarm suddenly. Um, the second is that this was so institutionalized. Financial advisors, lawyers involved, high-powered banks, as we just heard. Um, this was seen as a legal loophole for so long that I think many uh, alarm bells didn't go off when people saw this. In the end, it was really a 30-year-old desk clerk uh, in a tax center in Bonn who raised the red flag and said, this doesn't look right. Why are there so many tax rebates coming from one pension fund in the US to the German Central Bank? And so that led to a number of other things. 2016, the ball really started rolling. They started talking to some of the bankers and investors who were really at the center of this. Now, is this a scheme that was only used in Germany or also elsewhere? Leila, this was used everywhere. I mean, this was 55 billion euros is believed to have been lost by treasuries across Europe, 12 different countries. The majority of it, 32 billion in uh, Germany. Now imagine the Wirecard scandal, one of the biggest scandals in German history, 4 billion euro loss to creditors through that company's fraud. This is tremendous, eight times that. So it's a very, very big deal. Um, and this would involve institutional investors from around the world. These are massive sums. I mean, I can't even wrap my head around it. How are they going to get it back? That's been the question at this point, because there is a statute of limitations with tax matters. What this court decision essentially does is say, this is a criminal matter now, and that means there's a longer statute of limitations. We just heard thousands of cases underway, but those are complex and costly. So how much are they going to get back? Oh, boy. All right. Stephen Bursley from DW News, thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it.